So hematologists deal with uh, different diseases, including blood cancer. So should people be concerned if a hematologist start talking to a bariatric patient? Probably not. But what we know is that uh, there is a disease, which is very rare or in general, you know, it's multiple myeloma, but it's preceded by a condition called um, monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, which means is that there's an abnormal protein in the blood, and this abnormal protein may not have any significance, it may not affect your life, you can live a very long life, and you never develop the cancer. But in certain patients, there's increased chance of getting this cancer, and we found out that if you are overweight, you have about five times the chance of developing myeloma. My goal is to show that people who are going through through bariatric surgery are doing a lot of good things for themselves, getting rid of diabetes, hypertension, but also may prevent certain cancers. So uh, for patients who participate in this study, uh, we expect to really, first of all, screen them, which means we take a tube of blood, so when they're having their blood test, we ask for an extra tube of blood. So we take that tube, we analyze it to see if there's a, this abnormal protein. So once we see that they have this abnormal protein, so not everybody is going to have that, those who have the abnormal protein, we're going to follow them after the surgery. Every three months, we would like to get a tube of blood for up to three years to see what happened to this abnormal protein. Is it going up? Is it disappearing? Our hope is that when you lose the weight, it disappears. So that's uh, the, sort of the extent of their involvement. So I told you that the risk of progression to become multiple myeloma is quite small. It's about 1% per year. So if you are 40 years old and you have these conditions, when you're 50 years old, you have 10% chance of developing this condition. If you're 60, you have a 20% chance. So it's not a huge risk for developing multiple myeloma. So what happened if you discover it early, we're going to intervene early before there is any side effect or any damage related to this cancer. So I think, you know, the detection is going to help us prevent development of, you know, very uh, difficult disease to treat or, or symptoms related to the disease. So I, I think it's going to be a good thing to discover it. And the second thing is that the treatment is actually much better than it used to be. Now we have a treatment that put patient into a remission that is lasting, but wouldn't it be great to get not to get myeloma and to prevent it? So that's why I'm excited about it. I would like to prevent myeloma. I love to treat myeloma, but I want to prevent it. And that's why I'm excited about this trial.